What are some good tools for managing content creation? So I'm not going to spend too long on this. Um, I think this might be good to expand upon and actually show. Uh, but real quick, I would say the top one of the top tools is Trello. This is uh, obviously if you've hopefully you've heard of it by now. Uh, if not, though, it's a great and flexible tool. And one of the power ups you can use in Trello, they have a, a lot of uh, power ups you can use. And on the free plan, I believe you can activate one per board. Uh, and so one of these is a calendar. Uh, so that's really powerful because you can create um, lists is how Trello works with individual cards on them and, and then assign dates. And so you can then flip the view, look at it as a calendar and you have like an editorial calendar. So Trello allows you to do things like, let's say you uh, come up with idea generations for content. I'm just gonna pretend it's a written article. Um, so we have that. And then let's say once you've done that, you assign it to a writer, a writer writes it, and then they move it to the next list where it's uh, maybe a review or edit. And then it goes to publishing and then it gets published on the website. So you could have a list for each of those and then you can assign them to the different people in there and you get notifications and it's very visual as far as what is where. So that's great just alone. Um, there's a lot you can do with that. You can hook this in with automation tools like Zapier uh, to give notifications in different areas. Um, I'm not sure if you can automate it directly with Slack or if you need to use um, Zapier, but you can automate notifications to a lot of areas. So let's say um, a writer gets done with an article and they pop it into the ready for review uh, list, then your editor gets notified that, you know, this needs to be done. And then in the card, you can have instructions that say like, um, you know, once edited, move to the publish and assign, you know, the, uh, whoever your uh, person is that you have doing that to publish to the site, including the instructions. Anyway, super powerful. <clears throat> the big tie-in I see here is Google Docs. So for a distributed team, especially, this works really well. So you can have something in a Trello card where at the top, you generally have some sort of description, I believe they call it, but it could be instructions. And you could have like link to a source document, link to the article, links to whatever, and you can make that a template so you can just copy that each time you're doing this. But then the tie-in with Google here and Google Drive and Docs and Sheets is like, let's say the writer starts writing, well, then they put the link to their Google Doc into the card. And as it moves along, everybody can click on that and have access. So I think that beyond that, the, the power of Google Drive in this system is obviously you can set up folders. Uh, so you can have some sort of hierarchy and you can also um, give permissions as needed. So maybe your editor needs to have access to everything but maybe if you have outside writers, they just need access to one folder so you can control uh, what goes on there in terms of who has exposure to what. Uh, also, sheets are very effective. Um, obviously, we view it all pro probably all use spreadsheets, uh, but using those for tracking content, this is good for idea generation too if you just wanna have one centralized place um, where you maybe list out ideas or resources, things like that. And then lastly, I'll include this because it's something I've used before and that's using Google Forms. And this is uh, helpful for sometimes if people in your uh, organization, your business, your employees, whoever, you wanna have them input information that you can then pipe into other places. So let's say you want to have um, people giving ideas for articles with maybe more than like a one-liner because you could just have something in Trello where they, add a card and they just give it a description and say, hey, here's an idea. But maybe you could have a Google form where it's like, okay, you wanna submit an idea for an article, it needs a title, um, it needs a description, and it needs you know, some keywords and what kind of like images would be attached. And like that would form the idea of this article. And then you could take that and pipe that into like a Google Sheet. Automatically it would do that. And from there, you could take it anywhere. You could put that into Trello and then maybe assign that to a writer. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. So I find that to be handy. Um, I use it for stuff a little bit more complicated than that, like setting up webinars. Um, so we'll say, okay, we're gonna do a promotional webinar with these people. Okay, we need their emails, we need the names. Uh, is there any sort of a special offer? Do we get discounts or anything? Um, you know, what are the benefits of, you know, is it training, is it a product, whatever it is, we take all that and then the output is into our project management system where we then have the build team go ahead and build out the webinar. So pretty powerful stuff. Um, also, I already mentioned it, but Zapier, um, or you can use IFTTT, a lot of these automation tools. Um, another one would be 
think it's pronounced Integromat. Uh, and then there's some more powerful kind of uh, enterprise stuff beyond that. But Trello, between Trello and Google Docs, that's where you can really get started. Um, and then I mentioned the calendar in Trello, but also um, just using Google Calendar, if you're already using Google Drive, um, you can do that for to have like an editorial calendar if you want uh, something distinct or different from Trello or for whatever reason, it just works better for you. Mm -hmm.